The Dark History presents 30 Things You May Not Have Known About History. Walking the Plank is Fiction. Bet you didn't know that one. <laughs> Ain't no pirate ever walked a plank. No historical documents. The closest thing was called keel hauling, which was dragging somebody behind a ship tied to a rope. Tens of thousands of baby girls were abandoned every year in China by the one-child policy. Yeah, uh, that's that's a little brutal, you know, tens of thousands. <laughs> Great policy you got there, China. Roman Emperor Gaius made his horse a senator. You know, this I, I heard about this guy. This is the dumbest ever uh, emperor, right? Did I get that right? In 1788, the Austrian army got into an extreme battle with itself and killed 10,000 men. It physically fought itself and it had its own little battle between two armies of the same place. Makes no sense. Animals were often put on trial and sentenced to death in medieval times. You know, just science, you know. So those medieval times, you'll see them often in this. There's a lot of things about them. When the Europeans went to the New World, the Native American, the Native American population went from 12 million in, in 1500 to 237,000 in 1900. So 400 years, you killed off. Uh, let's let's see, uh, 11 million, 800,000 people. Wonderful. Nice. The shortest war in history was 38 minutes long by the Anglo-Zanzibar War in 1890. Interesting. Wonder what stopped it. The longest war in history was between the Netherlands and the Isles of Scilly and lasted from 1651 to 1986, which is 335 years, and had zero casualties. It's pretty lit. Napoleon was once attacked by rabbits. I don't know what to say about this one, it's just going for the funnier ones. Ronald Reagan was a lifeguard during high school and saved 77 lives. Bet you didn't know that one. The D in D-Day stands for Day. Day-Day. Now, you might not believe this one, but D represents Day in a lot of different words, so... Uh, I mean, it ki kinda somewhat... I mean, I guess people say it's Doom Day, but I guess, you know... We'll never know. When the Civil War started, Confederate General Robert E. Lee had zero slaves. But Union General U.S. Grant did. So in case you guys didn't know, I'll make a video about it. Confederate were on the side of slaves. Or like, I want to keep slaves. Union wanted to get rid of slaves, but it was the other way around for generals, I guess. Uh, England's King George I was German. Ancient Egyptians used stone slabs as pillows. Imagine how comfortable that would be. I bet that would help your neck pain. No one knows who invented the fire hydrant because they were they perished in a fire in a house fire. It's just all coincidence. Ancient Egyptians believed the only purpose of the brain was to produce snot. You know, science. Leonardo da Vinci loved animals so much that he would buy caged animals from the market and set them free. During the Cold War, the U.S. was going to detonate a nuke on the moon. There are medieval time man manuscripts showing knights fighting snails and no one knows why. BCW, my throat is super sore, so I'm having trouble. Queen Elizabeth II served as a mechanic and driver in World War II. Hope you guys think someone was good. High heels were invented for men in the 16th century. Two dogs survived the Titanic. You know, why not put two dogs on a lifeboat instead of two people? You know, it's just for such a fair trade because, you know, each dog is probably going to live a collective three years after, the, after this event. So it's pretty great how they saved two dogs. In 1900, life expectancy was 47 years. Napoleon was actually tall and old for what people think. Napoleon sat at 5'7 to 5'9 in height, which is, which was average or above at the time. And he lived to 51, nearly double expectancy. 
the Titanic was the first ship to ever use SOS. For the indestructible ship, it was the only one to have sunk. Pretty cool. Cleopatra Mary, two of her brothers. I expect to see Cleopatra more than once in this list. Leonardo da Vinci was dyslexic and wrote backwards. Imagine reading that. Cleopatra wasn't Egyptian. She was Greek. In 1999, Pepsi Inc. paid zero dollars in income tax. Zero for the whole year. Possible. The first Ford cars in history had Dodge engines. Well, I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you guys. Don't know. Uh, I haven't posted anything because Thanksgiving and throat hurts and uh, laziness. And I actually recorded three videos. I just haven't posted. I have Thanksgiving and I have, I have Thanksgiving coming out probably tomorrow. And something else. I have Thanksgiving and something else. I know that. So I hope you guys enjoy those. See you all later.